Oh, it's Gary Fox here, and uh, we're going to go through a couple of different graphical constructions tonight. Uh, the first one's going to be draw a line parallel to another line and have it go through a point. Okay, it turns out that that's built in in, in uh, LibreCAD, so we'll go to line and parallel through a point. So we copy our line. And then we determine the point we want, which is the cross with this X that I drew right here. And it's done. I'm not particularly happy with it, but it's done. So what I would want to do is go to uh, Modify, Trim, and Extend that. So that way it goes all the way through to the point. The way I actually prefer to do this, and we'll erase that one, is that I like to, I prefer to actually copy the original line, go to the end point of it, and now I bring it to the uh, intersection, and I delete, whoops, I'm going to keep the original. And I have it, it's still the uh, color, I might have to modify the color um, because it copied the actual line. But anyhow, that's, a way, that's another way of getting it. Okay, we are building techniques, so we're going to uh, delete that right now. And we're going to go to the second thing that I'm going to talk about tonight. And that is, let's say we have this line, this kind of random length, because that's what it is. It is random. And uh, we are wanting to divide that into five parts. So the way I would do that is that I start, and I'll use a construction line here. Start with a horizontal line that is of a distance that I think I want, and that looks about right. And I want to draw five of them. And if I didn't lose count, that's five. Okay. Now I'm going to go line. I'm going to go a two-point line. Go from the end of this one to the end of that one. Now what I have to do is make parallel lines. So that's why we learned how to do parallel first. So I do a copy because I'm going to do it my way. I go to this end point. And I go to the end point of that one in between. And I can continue to do that. But an easier way is to just do multiple copies. I got four copies of that line. And all of those cross points are going to be the same length on this, uh, this original line. So I now have divided the original line into five equal parts. So that's the way we do it with CAD. Uh, and this is as a construction line. I can turn that off anytime I want to after I've done whatever I want to do. Let's say I wanted to draw a uh, horizontal lines off of each one of those. So I go horizontal intersection. Got one there. Thought I was doing final color. And I would have it. Now uh, that would do my uh, show my five dividers. And I could turn off construction. As soon as I modify this one, and I can turn off construction so I no longer have to look at it. And that line is divided into five equal parts.
Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it manually. And we got a couple little things to learn on that. I'll be back with the uh, manual version. Uh, it's Gary Fox back again. And uh, we are going to do a line parallel to another line and have it go through a point. We're going to need a few new tools on this one. Of course, we got our straight edge. What we're going to need, ideally, it would be a drafting triangle, but I don't happen to have one here. And all I need is a is a piece of material straight on two edges. It doesn't even have to be square with itself. What I'm using is a uh, part of a jewel case for a uh, CD. And what I'm going to use is this large flat side that's going to go against my straight edge. All I have to do is place that so that it's up against the straight edge and it's on the line. And it's showing some bad reflections here. Um, that's because I'm trying to light the thing up good for the video. And what I just did was wrong because I just moved the uh, straight edge. Okay, once you get it locked down, you want to hold the straight edge very tight. And you move to the new location. Hopefully you don't run into your computer keyboard. And you put it on the X. And draw your line. And that's all there is to it. And that made a line parallel to another one. Okay, now we're going to do the second thing that we did in the uh, in the CAD version. So we got a new piece of paper. Okay, we're going to have a line, random length. So we draw a line, random length. And now I want to cut that line, and let's say five equal parts. So I pick a good measurement point, and I'm going to start at one. So that means I'm going to use six in, from one, one to six inches. Put the one right on my uh, my point there. And draw a line, and I put marks at six inches. Five, four, three, and two. So I have five equal marks. Yeah, I really do have five. And now I want to draw a line from here to the end of the line. Now make all my other lines parallel to that, and I'm going to have a problem. So I need to move down a little bit more. Should be okay here. Let's get lined up. I can actually move up a little bit more. Make sure I get it on the next line. So I make this. Parallel to that, to that line, mark one off at each one of these points. Try not to let everything slip like I just did. I missed that point. Part of that's because of my lighting right now. Uh, Tried to light good for the uh, camera. Fortunately, it's pretty lousy lighting for me right here. And we do the last one, and I got a problem. So we're going to make it parallel to that last line. My problem was that the jewel case is good for a lot of stuff. 
but it has that little notch right there and that notch was right in the area I needed. Okay, and so now I have one, two, three, four, five. I've divided it in five equal parts with a screw up right here. But we have it. Appreciate you listening. This is Gary Fox of Create and Make. Hopefully you got something out of this one.